Hey guys, welcome back. This is Faisal Khan and in this video, we're going to show you how to create profile for your users. One of the things that you need to do before you can go live as a, in a uh, WebEx contact center is to create profiles for your users. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to administer user profiles, agent profiles, skills, skills profiles, multimedia profiles, and all of which will be then assigned to an individual agent, supervisor, as well as administrator. So what is our objective that we need to meet by end of this video is to make sure that we create and comprehend a user profile, what it is, and we're going to create an agent profile assigned to the appropriate agents multimedia profile that will apply to appropriate you know a group of users and of course skills and skills profile that each agent will have now obviously if you want to learn more about this pro uh, what the profile does please take a look at the lecture portion of the video where we co we cover in depth knowledge about what is user profile why we use them now in this particular first task that we're going to do is we're going to create a user profile uh, which will control access to configuration module and objects and the reporting component of your contact center. So if you want the user to have certain access to certain area, this is the profile that you create. Now the user profile are based on the profile type, which is based on the license feature that you have in your, uh, uh, your, in your agreement, with, agreement with Cisco. So let's complete this task. We're going to lo log into our portal. So we go to contact center. And here you will have user profiles. Okay. Now, if you are working on the new version of the portal, uh, I will show you where that is available. But let's say I want to create a user profile. And uh, now remember, there are five default user profile already exist, which is which is the administrator, administrator only, supervisor. Uh, then you have the premium agent, and of course the standard agent profile. Now, these uh, profiles cannot be deleted. They are by the system. You can, however, always look at those profile settings and what access right this profile has, as you can see. And if I try to delete it, let's see, uh, I, there is no option to save it, okay? So if we go back to administrator only, as you can see, these are the privileges that are also automatically applied. So there are certain things that you can do. You cannot make any changes to these profiles by itself. So we're going to create our own profile. So we're going to create new user profile. So the first profile that we're going to create, we're going to call this, um, I don't know, agent user profile. Uh, so we're going to call this VBC agent user profile. And the descriptions we're going to define this is our first agent profile and we're going to create what we call is a premium agent okay now premium agent is a little bit better a uh, more licensed feature compared to the standard agent so again take a look at our uh, lecture on uh, lecture video in order to understand what they are now once you specify that you have the option to provide a specific module that will require in the additional steps we're going to click next and do you want this user to have a desktop agent or a multimedia agent at all at all so if you take a look at the the capability so do you want the age this agent to be able to edit their desktop agent agent desktop so you can say give them an added privilege for any multimedia give them an added privileges as well now what is multimedia multimedia means whether you can receive a call from voice with uh, chat and social uh, social media channel those will be defined in your multimedia in environment. Now, this is your next will be the access right. Now, this is where it means this user or agent will have access to either all entry point, all the queues, all the sites, everything. Or you can specify only a specific site if you prefer to do that. That means if you have site one and site two, then these part, anybody who is member of this user profile can only access site one. If I change it to all then it will be available all for team i can specify a certain team or i can say all team in my environment so again you could create a profile with a very specific to in a particular site or particular queue and then apply that profile to an individual user who will only have that particular queue access 
All right, so now that we have created our own user profile called this. Okay, so our first task is done. We have created our user profile. Until then, uh, next video, I'll show you how to create the agent profile.